What's up everyone? It's Bam Black Ops here, bringing you my very first game of Halo Reach. Pretty exciting. Right off the bat here, we get some lag, which sucks, but oh well. Um, so I just got this game, obviously, just like everybody else, just, just a little bit ago. This game comes within the first 24 hours of me getting the game. I went to the Halo Reach uh, Midnight Launch, it was pretty cool. We played a Halo 3 contest. Uh, I placed, I think it was 5th, out of like the 25 people that were there. I just missed the last, um, if I got into the last four, I would have been in the finals, and then the the person in first gets to either choose 1,600 Microsoft points, or this, uh, a countdown clock of Halo Reach that was at GameStop, pretty cool. So, um, this game is pretty awesome so far, it's taking me a little bit to get back into Halo. I played the beta, but besides that, I haven't played Halo in quite a long time so it's kind of taking me a little bit to get used to it again but I love Halo to death so um, I'll get right back into it real quick so this video is pretty much going to be like a little list of pros and cons of the game for my like a review of the first 24 hours so to say um, and uh, one of the things I hate is the melee system right after I got a double kill with my fist so that makes sense but the melee system seems a little off to me um, the, it, it feels a lot weaker, which maybe that's more balanced, maybe not. But the one thing that really gets on my nerves is simultaneous beatdowns. In that, if I have a energy sword and uh, you have your fist, there's no reason why we should hit each other at the same time and we both die. It doesn't make any sense. Your arm should be sliced off. It's kind of dumb. Get turned on, buddy. Anyway. That's one of the things that gets my nerves. The other thing is the DMR. Um, I like I like it and I don't. Uh, I feel like it's not as good as the BR, which is I guess a good thing because they're going for balance and I, it's definitely um, less of this uber powerful weapon that you, you everybody can hold and they're ridiculously good with it. It takes more skill than BR and that's a good thing. But at the same time, um, it, it's if I see two guys coming around the corner in Halo 3 and I have one grenade and a BR, I feel like I could easily get a double kill on them. If I uh, two people pop around the quarter corner in Halo Reach and I have the DMR, I feel like I have less less of a chance to to pull pull it off, and it's uh, a little frustrating at times. But I'm sure I'll get used to it, and um, I'll fall in love with it in due time. I'm sure. I'm already liking it way more just within the first 24 hours than I did in the beta. So I guess maybe they adjusted it a little bit. I'm not sure exactly, but uh, I'm liking it. The last thing which I really hate in this game is the same thing that I hated in, in the beta, which was armor lock. Um, in in theory, armor lock's pretty awesome. Man. Like if you if your your people bunch of people are charging at you and you go into this all of a sudden invincible mode for a little bit, which sounds cool and everything, especially if it's like a warthog charging at you and the gunner's gunning you down. And needle rifle versus needler. Hmm. Needler wins, of course. But if somebody's charging at you with, you know, with a Warhog or something, and you just pop right into the armor lock, and they flip over top of you, that's awesome. It, like, it looks really cool and everything. But it doesn't work to, for me. It, I mean, not. It, I think it just ruins the game, the flow of the game, in something like Slayer on Countdown, which is what this is. Um, and here there's like 15 people charging at me, so I tried to run away, but you can't run away from death now, can you? Um, I don't know what the heck that was. But it, it ruins the flow of the game. Like, later on, you'll see I actually get a kill on armor lock. Um, like, my teammate has armor lock. The other guy's about to kill my teammate, and he pops into armor lock. And the guy's like, you know, he all of a sudden froze. Like, what do I do? And then I just pop in, and I get the easy kill. And I think it just ruins the flow of the game. I wish they would take it out of of non-vehicle game types and, like, keep it in uh, invasion, keep it in big team games with, you know, vehicles all over the place. I think that's pretty cool. But... As far as it being uh, uh, something to use in um, a normal game mode, like capture the flag on a small map like this, or um, Slayer, you know, I don't think it, I don't think it should be in the game. It kind of, it, it messes things up. And here I get a triple kill with the shotgun. Besides those things, um, I'm really enjoying the game in general. And there's more lag in this game, I think, coming up soon too. This game's a little laggy, but I, it came out with a good score. I picked this game actually because it's it's really fast paced and um, I feel like this is one of the first games where I really felt comfortable with the whole map because it's still it's like my fourth or fifth time playing this map and I felt comfortable. Here's a guy with the armor lock. See, he could have easily killed him it looks like and then I just pop in and get the easy kill. But this is a fast paced, close, cl 
close quarters game. Um, I'm going to be posting a lot of Halo Reach games. I'm going to try to mix it up, you know, some games being sniper gameplay. I had a uh, 32 and 5, I think, already sniper game. But it was kind of slow paced at times. So maybe I'll post it up sooner or later. I don't know. Um, but I'm going to try to switch it up. This is mainly a close quarters game. I use a shotgun and the sword a lot. And um, and I pull out the, lo the long range guns when I need to. But because this map's close range. So I kind of you have to adapt to whatever map it is. But I just got my new laptop just on Friday. Uh, only a couple days before Halo Reach came out. And I got my HD, set up, my HD PVR set up and everything. Uh, which is really exciting because I'm going to get really good quality videos, I hope. And um, I'm just kind of a little bit of a test video, too. Hopefully, I can make it even look better than this. We'll see. Um, but I actually don't have an HD TV. But because thanks to theater mode and the theater mode in Halo Reach and to theater mode in Black Ops, I can just switch to my HD components. The, 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 qual the screen looks crappy on my TV. It's all like really ridiculously weird lines all over the place. That doesn't matter because all that matters is um, is the HD PVR is hooked up straight to the Xbox 360, so I'll still get really good HD quality videos from theater mode. So actually, in a way, the quality of the video I'm capturing is actually better than that of which I'm playing in, which is kind of weird, <laughs> but oh well. Um, so I'm gonna be posting a whole bunch of montages, gameplay, hopefully gameplay every day or so, every couple days. Depending on um, if I get a really good gameplay, I want to throw it in. Um, and montages, I haven't done any montages yet. Um, so I'm sure the first one's going to be terrible. And that'll probably come out in like a couple weeks. Um, probably a small one. Just to, you know, just to get it, get a feel of what it's like and everything like that. Um, but uh, in time, I'm sure I'll get a little better at it. And I'm hoping, hoping that my subscribers, you guys, don't have a lot of you yet. Hopefully that'll change. Here, right here, I picked up a DMR. And I didn't realize there's only one bullet in it, so I got raped. <laughs> so, it was just sitting up on the side. Like, nobody even picked it up yet. Like, that's where it spawns. I don't know the spawns of the guns that well on this map yet. So, I picked it up there thinking it was a full thing. I didn't even realize there's nothing in it. Only one bullet in it, sorry. So, um, I'm hoping you guys can help me as far as the, you know, help me out. Tell me what kind of gameplay you want. So, I'll switch it up for you guys. I don't play the same. I don't only play deathmatch or anything like that. I switch it up for myself all the time to have fun. So, if you want to see, like, an invasion game, if you want to see um, a sniping game, whatever, as well as things that I can, uh, uh, things I can improve on. I'm sure I'm saying, um, way too much. I'll try to work on that, you know, that kind of thing. So, anything you can, you can think of as far as, and I repeat myself a lot, so I gotta stop doing that, too. So, you know, you guys can help me out as far as giving me little, um, tips on what to do. If somebody wants to make an intro for me, that would be freaking awesome. Stuff like that, because I'm terrible at that kind of thing. Uh, background for my channel, anything like that. You guys can. I, I want this to be um, a, a video of a channel where the subscribers really help me out a lot in it. So the game's done. I think the final score was 28 and 10. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Here's my stats right here. As you can see, I got a whole crap ton of medals. <laughs> um, so I'm also gonna do this at the end of every video, my gameplay games. So I'm gonna go on. Bungie.net and just take a quick little screenshot of some of my stats to show up too. So thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I'm sure I can improve on a whole lot of things. So please in, in the comments below just tell me what I can do. If you enjoyed it please tell me that and subscribe, rate and all that good stuff. So thank you very much. Peace.